Former Zag and current Spokane resident Rob Sacre spent a lot of time with Kobe Bryant over the years. Sacre was a member of the Lakers from 2012 to 2016, and Rob's final game with Los Angeles was also Kobe's final game. I sat down with Rob today to discuss Kobe's impact one year after his death. I thought it was a hoax, and then my phone started blowing up, and it was crazy. January 26, 2020 is a day Rob Sacre will never forget. June 28, 2012 is another day that stands the test of time in Rob's mind. That was the day Sacre was drafted by the Lakers. I couldn't believe that, you know, I got to play with one of my heroes. And, man, I, I collected basketball cards and I had his rookie card and everything. And I couldn't believe then now, you know, like... Wow, I get to play with the guy I looked up to. Soon, though, his awe wore off, and in typical Rob fashion, he didn't take it easy on the Mamba. For practice, I'd be like, man, I never like to, I never want to be on your team because it's bittersweet to beat you on the other team. That's my favorite part. So we'd always keep tallies of like who would win, me and him, and like I'd talk crazy smack to him, crazy, like how old he was and whatnot. You can ask any of my teammates. I, I, I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind, so I definitely told them how I felt. Still, Rob never took for granted that he got a front row seat to one of the best players ever to lace him up. I'm super blessed to say that I was able to play with this man and uh, have an opportunity to be in, in that, in his, his aura, man. How would you like define Kobe's aura? Unique unique how so uh you can't i just can't i can't describe it you just got to be around it to know what it was the number one lesson the former gonzaga center told me he took from kobe was to never feel sorry for yourself so it's safe to say that kobe wouldn't want the world to feel sorry for him on this day either instead we should celebrate all he accomplished during his short time with us He's influenced so many people in this world throughout all the continents, and um, he's left something in everybody's heart. So I, I think it's, it's beautiful to see what one man can do to the world. Rob wasn't the only former Zag who got to play with Kobe in Los Angeles. Adam Morrison and Rooney Turioff also donned the purple and gold with the Mamba. That's it for sports.